What's going on guys? It's Tyler aka the Sneaker Loop back at it with another video and today I'm going to show you guys my sneaker collection. So first off I'm going to start off with the shoes that don't have any boxes um, and then I'll get it into the ones with the boxes because it's going to take a little longer so I'm just going to do these ones to get them out of the way and yeah let's just jump right into it. Starting off <laughs> you got the Curry, I forget which ones these are. I think they're the Curry 2s, I think, maybe? Curry 3s? I don't even know where we're at with Curry's. I don't follow that very much, but, um, yeah, the I found these at Ross. $45. I mean, can't go wrong with it. Red. Um, red all over. It, like an infrared. You got the red speckles along the midsole, if you can barely, if you can see it. Um, you know, like, just a decent, like a clear bottom. These are going to be mostly my... Uh, basketball shoes eventually I mean I'm trying I'm wearing a shoe at the moment that I'm, I'm performing in so right now it's it, not these but eventually I will get to these I've won too many so but yeah these are my first ones uh, next pair we have the LeBron 15 ashes the very original colorway of the LeBron 15 um i as you can see by the by the bottoms they have been worn um i used to wear them casually but then i wanted to actually uh performance test them and they did really good i mean i played outdoors so that's different than how they play indoors because mostly they're supposed to see how how good the shoe performs indoors so i haven't tried that yet but i will eventually um but yeah they held pretty nice very comfortable sneaker and pretty simple dope colorway in my opinion um yeah and i paid retail on these which was at the time it was i think it was one i think it was the same price as the 16s now which is 185 but yeah this is these are a dope shoe this is the only pair of 15s i have i wish i could have got more but there wasn't really too many other cool colorways that came out so moving on to the next pair these are the Kobe, ah, can't even hold on, uh, Kobe 10, Kobe 9, Kobe 10 Elite, um, the, um, they did a whole collection, I forget, I forget what these were called, they did a whole collection on these, they did it in the LeBron, I think it was the 13 or 14 shoe, they did it in the same color scheme, and they also did it in a Kobe, and then they also did it for, I think it was a Kevin Durant, I think it, that's what that, that was, it was a whole series um, and I was able to get my hands on the Kobe ones. The Kobe ones I fell in love with. But as you can tell, bottoms were clear, but now they're bright yellow or dark yellow. Very nasty. Um, uh, warm a lot, but, you know, pretty dope colorway. Um, yeah, and then obviously here you got your stitching of the times he's torn his Achilles. Um, but pretty much, I mean, the bronze, the bronze Nike sign, the infrared, uh, lacing like caps very dope they used to pop when i first bought them but now since i wore beat the hell out of them it's not like that anymore moving on we have the lebron 16 i am kings very dope shoe very underrated colorway in my opinion um it's just simple black and gold um i've worn them a couple times Bottoms are good. I haven't worn them for basketball. I've just worn them to work and casually. But very sick colorway. You can find them. Actually, I found them at the outlets, Nike outlets. But they're still retail there. But you could probably find probably find these online. Probably on sale. If you just check, look around. But yeah, these are very dope. You got the uh, crown at the bottom of the inside of the shoe. Uh, obviously, the gold gold signature and then you got i am king on the back of the sneaker and then you got the purple dunkman on the very bottom of the shoe moving on we got the Kyrie 5 galaxy there wasn't really a particular name for these they were just i'm guessing people consider them the galaxy i consider them the galaxy because you could see the wing has got the galaxy pattern all over it um very dope very clean simple um this was a gift um shout out to my mom she 
got these for me for Christmas, even though she could have got it at my job at the time. I got a discount, but that's okay. I still love them. I put use in them. They're a little dirty. Got to clean them up, but they're a very dope shoe. I love them. They're very comfortable. One of my favorite Kyries out of the five models. These are my probably these and the ones really took it from me so far but we'll see what the future holds for Kyrie. but yeah right now very dope very dope moving on we have the kd6 elite supremacies now these are pretty pretty beat i got these wow these were like i think 2012 2013 kind of release um there was many speculations there were very limited pairs or something but i don't know um, i was able to get my hands on a pair at foot locker the bottoms were clear but as you can tell they are not clear anymore they are dirty yellow um with wear that's just how it happens i mean you got the dope gold lacing you got the 35 People have made fun of me, or well, not made fun of me, but the sneakers thinking that it looks like sort of like a swastika, but that's 35. And then you also have the KD logo here, the lightning bolts on the back, and then you also got the Nike swoosh in the inside and in the medial side of the sneaker, which is pretty dope. Um, but the gold, as you can tell, is sort of fading. Um, it, it just with wear, it just wears out. I mean, you know, you got the KD, you got some parts of it fading than other parts. But yeah, very dope shoe at the moment. When I first got them, they were so clean. And then I like warm, like almost like at, like every other day. I tried to, you know, had a couple shoes at, at the time. So I was able to wear them each and every day. So I didn't have to wear them every day to beat them. But wear them every other day, I'm still putting use into them. But yeah, KD6 Elite Supremacies. Moving on. LeBron 13 Elite All-Star Joints. Uh, these are very fire, in my opinion. Um, you know, very underrated uh, colorway of the LeBron 13. I think it's simple. This is when they played in New York. So they're very dope. The, my favorite part is probably the bottom, even though you're never going to see it because it's always going to be on the ground. But you got the pink hits right around here you got some hints of blue and then you also got the hint of green all over here um pretty simple it's all one base of the shoe there's no tongue it's all just one piece and it is it's very dope you got the you got the like kind of reflective iridescent kind of crown reflectiveness right there you got this like plastic part that has a signature on it and you also got this like weird bump which this threw a lot of people off right here on the back of the shoe but quite honestly it doesn't look too bad you can't really even see it because most of the time you're walking this way you're walking straight so nobody's gonna ever see the back of it unless they're really wanting to pick on the sneaker but yeah very dope sneaker obviously you could tell by the bottoms they were worn but they were very they're very dope in my opinion and i haven't worn it for basketball solely casually um but hopefully eventually if I don't wear them basketball, maybe I'll sell them. I don't know. Um, but yeah, these are a very dope sneaker. We got the Kyrie One USA's. Very dope sneaker. Um, I got these the same year as the KD6's. Very dope. Um, very dope sneaker. Uh, these are... Pretty basic, obviously USA, red, white, and blue. Uh, got to tell if you can see, I don't know if it's really, the lighting, lighting's terrible, so I apologize, but you can see the flag underneath the knitting, the prime, prime knit, whatever this material is. Um, but it's very dope. You got the chrome Nike swoosh there and right there. And you also got this nice blue bag. Now the only part, these shoes look honestly brand new, but I've worn them a lot over the years. But the only place you can honestly tell that it's really been worn is sort of the back. The paint starts to chip, so you can tell there's like little white spots there. It's just chipping of the paint with use. And obviously, when I was I was in high school, so people didn't care about your sneakers. So a lot of times, people would just step on them, and that just pisses me off. But 
they did it and that's kind of a reason why and also use but yeah pretty dope this is probably my favorite out of the older collection older version of my sneakers because they're still basically new for as old as they are and for as much i, I mean besides the bag they're basically brand new so yeah very fire in my opinion Kyrie won usa's moving on All right, next shoe. I'm gonna be completely honest. Don't know which, which one, which number this is, but this is the a CP3. Um, I don't know exactly what number it is, um, but that's what I can tell you. They're CP3s. Um, I got them while I was on vacation. Uh, pretty simple, pretty pretty dope. I mean, I'm a Steelers fan. Even though these colors are kind of like a mango, they kind of vibrant that black and yellow vibe, and give me that Steelers vibe a little bit. And you got the clear bottoms, obviously, upside down. Oh my God. But yeah, clear bottoms. They're still, they're dirty. I've been wearing them for work because I have very beat shoes that my fellow uh, employees decide to. Uh, my co-workers decide to make fun of me for that I have beat shoes so I decided to break these out just put work in them because I never use them at all so fi figured just put some use in them at work got on the back here the track this uh you got the snake right here and then same thing on the back here uh I use I think these are like his birthday kind of mashup kind of sneakers or something I don't know but very dope pretty clean sneaker um you can get cp3s anywhere quite honestly i mean i don't think most stores don't have them anymore because they're not selling so just check online online they'll have them um these i'm not sure since they're so they're old they're like a couple years old i don't know if they're gonna have the same as that one but you probably get off stock x go for way under retail maybe yeah so i would just double check that if you're interested but very dope shoot very comfortable too cp3s very comfy on to the next one. Up next, we have the Kyrie 2 Krispy Kremes. Now, as you can tell, I don't know if on camera is going to do justice, but these are um, very dope. Very dope, but they also are very worn. They don't look like it. I haven't worn for basketball, but I wore them to work. I wore them... Um, in high school i wore them a lot so like i put a lot of work into these and i know they're going for a lot so i kind of feel like shit because they do go for a lot and i should have just kept them but the reason why you can tell is i don't know if you see that but there's like white fuzzes and stuff i wore santa pants with these on these are kind of they kind of give you that christmas vibe besides the back that has that like weird like red and pinkish but the all you're looking at is the red laces the white all over and then you got the green nike swoosh on the midsole so quite honestly and on the strap so quite honestly it's like a christmas shoe so i wore them some santa pants and the fuzzies and stuff got all over it so pretty worn you also see here there's a giant crease on it but that hey man i just i just love these sneaks sneakers i put use into them um very dope shoe um not the best looking aesthetically sneaker Kyrie's came out with but it is very good shoe on court um very good the traction's amazing every Kyrie's traction is amazing on the court but these by far they give you the lockdown support the only bad con about this shoe is it's not very breathable so your foot gets hot after a while but yeah these are the Kyrie 2 Krispy Kremes okay so that's it the ones that are not in a box now this is gonna take some time but these we're about to get into all the ones that i have in a box so starting off starting off we have the lebron 16 this is my favorite model out of the group oh shniz all right sorry about that okay so we got the lebron 16 black history months my favorite probably out of the group actually i take that back there is a cut there is one i have that is better but i love these very simple very dope i love the mismatch kind of theme that's what i've been trying to go for and lebron just did it so i, I love it you, simple 
one black shoe with white laces and you got one white shoe with black laces and then you also have the differences is actually this tongue right here is actually like a like a new buck and then you have this one and the white which is like sort of like a leather like a patent leather is very dope very rough and then obviously on the back you have have the equality um written all over the back nike swoosh right there also right there and then on the bottom they were worn i only worn one uh, i don't want to say that twice twice three times at most but yeah you can see it says equality on the bottoms too clear bottoms but i got these while i was in philly to watch lebron play the sixers don't want to talk about it because they got blown out by 20 but very dope to see him and i was able to i tried to get a signature on these by him but he does a private workout so that didn't happen moving on The Nike Air Vapor Max Plus in the people can call it the Charlotte All Star colorway, um, but they're also called the Sunset colorway. Uh, I kind of give it a mixture of both Northern Lights too. I mean, subtracting the green, you got the pink, you got the blue, you got the baby blue, you got the purple. I mean, it's overall dope shoe have not worn these these are ds for me at least i mean they've been tried on but you can't even tell that so um but very dope very comfy shoe i can't wait to break these out but it's hard because i'm always working but very dope shoe retail was 190 that's what i pay i didn't get no discount no coupons or anything but 190 and yeah that's that vapor max plus sunset colorway they have many more colors, so if you're interested, check Finish Line Champs, Foot Locker. Um, Dix does not have them, so if you're looking into Dix, you can't get them there. But everywhere else, you could probably get these. Um, I don't know if this exact colorway is still sitting, but there are many more colorways, too, of this shoe, if you like just the shoe overall. But yeah, so Vapor Max Pluses. Up uh, next... very fancy box so if you can't tell already that is you if you know you know that's what i'm gonna leave it at <clears throat> all righty so you got the d wade wow fives and the all these are the all star no you know think the yeah these are all-stars these are his all-stars these i think are also back i think this is like 2013 14 or 15 season he broke these out on all-star i thought these were very dope um they're all silver i mean there wasn't too many because they sell out fast but i was able to get my hands on this and the worst part was they didn't have my size so this is a half size up my normal size which is 11 sometimes 11 if it's too big so these actually fit pretty big on me you got the icy blue bottoms um as you can see worn i wore them out on the in the like yard and mulch and didn't turn out so well so haven't cleaned them yet but haven't had a chance to because they're just too big but very dope sneaker um they have the new d way I, I don't know which ones that he's on right now i don't follow d wade as much anymore but these are very dope so if you're looking to buy a pair of D-Wades, um, just go Way of Wade. That's his website, and he has um, not not these, but his newer ones. And he has many colorways, and just pick whatever you like. So, Way of Wade fives. Okay, up next. Oh, let me separate this. So I know where I'm at. So, up next, we are at Jordan. And if you can't tell already, big box. Big box. If you can't tell what the box is already, like what kind of air, what Jordan this is, well, then you're about to find out. 
we got the the Jordan 12 Bordeaux colorway. Um, very dope in my opinion. Simple Bordeaux, you know, or you can call it plum, whatever you want to call it. Very dope shoe. Um, very comfy. Uh, the 12s are actually a pretty comfortable shoe. Um, pretty simple. Uh, basically, you got the plum suede throughout most of this this entire upper in the back but then you also got this uh kind of like kind of like rough rubber material here along kind of along the side here of the sneaker and then you also got that same material along here and then you got the silver caps you know jordan logo right there and then you also got the pool tab and the 23 the back the bottom of the sneaker is like an off-white like a cream you can tell they were worn worn casually worn a couple times I haven't worn them a ton of much um, I don't know I just grow out of love out of these I just grew out of love so they're kind of just sitting maybe I hope to sell them in the future but if or unless at some point in time I decide to go back to them but right now I'm just I'm out, out of love with these kind of impulsive buy on my part but very dope sneaker can't go wrong with it. There's plenty of Jordan 12 sitting. This colorway, I don't know if it is still sitting. I think it's, this is last year's model, so I don't think it is there anymore from two years ago. So, but there's plenty of 12s just sitting. So you might be able to find these or a color you might like online. So just take a look for it. But yeah, Jordan 12 Bordeaux. All right, up next. We have the Harden Volume 1, the very first edition. Lifestyle in the, um, in the peach colorway or like the salmon pink. I forget exactly the name. It was, it was like on the tip of my tongue for the longest time but now i don't remember i think it's like oh sunset life i think that's what it's called sunset life very dope sneaker these actually are like the ones out of the probably the entire volume one collection of hardens that are going for more very dope you got the boost all around the midsole you got the peach you got this like nice gum bottom right here and then you also have the, I thought at first these were going to be shiny gold. That would have been a beautiful touch. But it's just a simple, simple like gum, three stripes. And then you also got these, you got the wonderful like iridescent pink Harden logo right there. Bottoms, you take a look at them. Don't look very worn. Weren't worn too much. Worn for nice occasions because I had a nice salmon shirt. So not a big guy I'm wearing like dressy cute sneakers so i broke these out because they match perfectly so shout out to harden these sh shoes are dope and yeah these are the sunset the sunset life I don't even know. Here, ladies and gentlemen, of the LeBron Zoom Generation St. Vincent St. Mary colorway. This was, this, these came out last year, um, back in like, I think it was like March or April. I was so hyped to get these sneakers. I thought they were gonna be very limited, and they're really not. They aren't reselling for much either. Um, LeBron is my favorite player. Growing up as a kid, that's who I watched. Um, pretty simple, these are, um, designed by his Hummer, which he got back when he was my age, around 19 years old. And yeah, he, he had a Hummer and this is basically designed after, this is not his first sneaker. So this is not his first sneaker, but this is the sneaker he did wear and before they designed his sneaker and everything. So this is basically just, you know, his, they just came out with colorways for him. But yeah, you got the pretty simple St. Vincent, St. Mary, 
logo on the back and then you have this resembles the back of a hummer right here it has some tape on it i'm not going to remove it because that paint that chrome finish will fade away um with you so i want to keep them the way they look keep it the way it is for now you got the simple lebron right there i don't know if you can really see it but it's like fogged up and you also got here um lebron as well here and then you got his old logo l23 pretty simple pretty far only worn these twice at the most you can't even tell i really wore them um very dope sneaker and then after i wore them those two times i kind of wanted to stop because i want to keep these shoes as a memory because at some point lebron will retire and this will be a cool memory stone because obviously you can't get high school jerseys so this is something really close to you know commemorate his high school his high school days and obviously this was a pe back in the day because he wore these and nobody it didn't come out for the public but yes there are those up next up next is the can't tell already by just looking at it looking at it by the sneak piece i think you already know where i'm getting at this all right and here we are jordan 5 flight uh red red suede red suit that's what they called them at the time um people said these kind of remind them of the raging bull fives and i can definitely see it just doesn't have the um clear plastic instead of it doesn't have the clear plastic as these do you know the raging bull fives had it but these just had simple red uh clear bottoms but as you can tell they are beat on the back specifically don't know why i think it's because i i try not to crease them so i could have i probably put more use into the heel than i did on the front but i try to they're blue they're they're icy blue when they're brand new uh, simple silver 3m J jordan tongue got the air jordan logo on the back it's backwards because back in the day people used to flip it so it looked like that then you got the toe cap the lace lock cap thing i never use i just pull it off to the side when i wear them but very dope sneaker haven't worn them a ton a lot because i'm worried i mean shoes are gonna crease but i hate to i would hate to crease these because it's just suede so it'll look shitty once the crease is done to it um but yeah very dope sneaker can't go wrong with these um these aren't reselling for too much so if you're interested go and stock yet should have them for probably around retail maybe just a little bit more but very dope sneaker Next, we have one of the pickups of this year, actually, and that is the Air Presto acronym. Very dope. These things are beautiful. Um, a lot of people are not going to like it because it's a mid and it just looks hideous. But quite honestly, this is just a very dope sneaker. If you want to pop, like if you want, if you don't pop anywhere else on your outfit, but you want to pop on your sneakers, this is the sneaker. That hot pink, that volt, that that hint of that that big hit of blue right there, you're gonna stand out, and people are gonna notice these. You'll they'll notice you from a mile away. Very dope sneaker. You got the zebra print sort of kind of throughout the cage right here and then throughout here through the back and the cage here again and then along right here and then also on the toe in front of the toe as a like barrier um very dope sneaker worn them a couple times i think i wore them like twice max very dope you want to pop these are the sneakers for you um they're going for a, like probably like i think i bought pay like 260 for these which is not bad when retail at the moment was what retail was 200 so i paid 60 bucks over retail for these things very beautiful love them they do run interesting um these zippers right here don't really strap on my foot too much 
but yes they these are very dope very com comfortable shoe i recommend if you, you want to get a pair of prestos and you want to get some that you don't see on an average person go with the acronym they have in three colorways this one stand out to me the most but they also had a black in, like a sort of like a black gray and yellow one and then they also had it in a um and just a simple all black kind of all black and gray color but very, these are the dopest ones out of the three Alright, up next, we have, this is a shoe I got Christmas, haven't worn at all, but getting right into it, this is probably by far my favorite model other than the 16s, and these, uh, other than the LeBron 16s, and these are the LeBron 11 2K14 editions super super fire um back in the day when 2k14 was out and he was on the cover this was a challenge that you had to do i think it was a my team my team chat or my career challenge or something you had to do a lot and then the end you got a locker code and then you end up to be able to get a pair of these but yeah ds never worn um pretty 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 dope sneaker you can't go wrong with it comes with three pairs of laces obviously it's got the red and gold one right now but it also comes with a kind of like a crimson gray kind of color and it also comes with that like a black and red kind of colorway too you got the gold hit of the nike swoosh there and then you also got it right here along the toe then you also got a long hair on these patches like right here kind of remind me of iron like if iron man would wear a sneaker this would be it you got the cheetah prints all over very fire and then you also got sort of the same kind of thing all around inside and you also got the lebron right there on the, on the bottoms very dope my favorite sneaker other than the lebron 16s these are a beautiful beautiful piece of my collection i don't know if i can ever wear these because they're just beautiful and i don't know what i would do if i wear them like i'd have to wear them for a special occasion like I'm going to propose or something, to be quite honest with you. It's not a Jordan, but these are so, to me, my favorite sneaker probably in my collection, I think. But you guys will decide what your favorite sneaker is in my collection. But this is probably personally my favorite. All right. Oh, I'm at like 32. Person's going to like notify me like, yo, what are you doing? Next, have whoop to do another LeBron 11 box. What could these be now? You may ask. These I bought around senior year of high school. Very dope sneaker. Another LeBron 11. And if you couldn't tell by the shots there, you probably could. Tell. If you couldn't tell, well, you're about to find out. But if you could, you already know what these are. These are the LeBron 11, what the LeBron. Very dope sneaker, very different on each of the two. Personally, this one's my favorite because I love the hit of red around the toe box here. And I just, I can vibe, I'm a big Fruity Pebble guy, so you got the Fruity Pebble along in the lining right here, very dope. You also have the New York City like stamp or the patch right there. And also the Fruity Pebble on the back of the tongue. But you got, on the right, the right shoe, you got hints of blue, hints of tor like a like a teal right here. Got a galaxy on the on the on the bottom right there. Got a mixture of pink fading into like a navy, to, or no, no, fading into a black, and then fading into this like weird aqua kind of kind of blue. And then you also got this nice hit of like looks like it gives that pattern vibe of like a hardwood. So very dope, black Nike swoosh there, gold hit right there, yellow Nike swoosh along here, and a simple chrome finish on that side. And then you got the graffiti on this side, and then the bottom's the rainbow, fruity pebble kind of design thing. And the bottom are pretty simple here, just pretty just clear. Warm a couple times, casually. Took amazing photographs of these in photography in class, but didn't keep them, should've. But yeah, these are beautiful. Love these things. Uh, these were my first pair of LeBron 11s. 
um, besides the ones my cousin gave to me because they were worn. So, but these are like I bought personally to myself in my LeBron collection. This is my second favorite. Those 2K14 ones, though, take the cake in my opinion. All right. Up next, you can't tell already. Paul George, bang bang. Oh, shouldn't have said that. Sorry, Farmer Simpson. I dearly apologize. Didn't mean to take it. It's just stuck in my head. But if you don't know already what these are, getting right into it. These are the PG3 NASA colorway. Very dope. Dead stock. Never worn. Bought these off a friend at my job. Uh, he sold them to me for retail. I mean, they're not going for much at anything at all, but. You know, at first, you know, I'd rather pay retail, which is 120, than paying 150, 160 on StockX. So I'd rather save myself a couple, you know, like 20, 30 bucks, and just get them off a friend. He never wore them. He looked like he probably tried this one on. It's on lace, like unlike this one. But other than that, very dope sneaker. Love them. Haven't worn them yet. Can't wait though. These are gonna be so fire. Um, I gotta step up my clothing game a little bit. It's pretty low, so like, you know, can't just. I don't really have a shirt meant for this. Even though mostly I wear black, I don't have a lot of black T-shirts. So, and most of them are black have either red or gray or something in them. So it would just look weird. But PG3 NASA's. I'm hoping the Apollos come out soon. If they don't, I am telling you right now, I will go on StockX and pay. The 60 bucks or whatever to get them because I just can't wait this long. They're waiting too long to push them out. But these very dope, very simple American flag on the on the tongue, and then you also got the PG symbol right there. Hints of blue right there, hints of red right there. Nike swoosh on the inside, and then also on the midsole right there. And then you also got these tags right here. Remove, remove before flight. Very simple, very basic, and you stand out in the crowd, especially if you play on the court. Very dope. Up next, one of my one of the eight sneakers that I bought in the last couple weeks slash months that I have not, and I swear to you, have not worn. So we're gonna get right into this one. Pretty simple, pretty basic. A lot of people love this sneaker. I love them. Even though I'm not a fan of the choice of the sneaker. Kyrie 5 Duke. Very dope. Love these sneakers. These are by far one of my favorites out of the out of the colorways. Um, as you can tell, you can see right here. You got the Duke logo. The reason why I just don't like the shoe is the Duke. I'm not a Duke fan. I'm a Kentucky fan. But... I love the shoe overall solely because that flame just does so well. The chrome Nike swoosh right here on the back. Then you also got the logo for Duke on the back. Uh, blue bottoms, pretty simple, pretty basic, very dope. Haven't worn them, dead stock. Paid retail, $130. Um, they sold out pretty quick, but they're not reselling for too much. So if you really want to get your hands on a pair, StockX and GOAT can, can get you for a good price. So just... Yeah, very dope. And if you're a Duke fan, these shoes are amazing <laughs> for you. But yeah, Kyrie 5, Duke. All right, running out of space. All right, up next we have, if you don't know, on my good friend on his own channel we did a review on these so i will make sure to have him put the link the bottom of the description and he'll link you guys to the the video we did but these basically we basically gave a review on them the air max 90 mars landings very dope this whole upper is 3m very simple um you got the 3m speckles along the midsole you got the silver back right there with the Nike Air. And you got these like clear clear bottom. But you also got the print of a, um, it's the it's supposed to be of a rover. 
roving around Mar around Mars. Pretty simple. Comes with two different pairs of laces. Personally, I like these pair of laces, but just haven't had time to put them on because um, I don't wear my shoes. So this is another one out of like the eight or nine that I have that I have not touched in my collection. So very dope sneaker. Can't wait to put these on feet. But like I said, I got to stop my apparel game before I can break these out. But eventually, this is a nice, this is uh, honestly, in my opinion, a dope fall season kind of colorway. So it might be safe for that. I might break them out anytime, but quite honestly, I don't know. I might save it for the fall of next year. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah, no. All right. Up next. Do, 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 do. Still got a lot of shoes to get to, but up next. <laughs> big fan of Jordans. I mean, I'm okay with it. I'm not too big on them. It has to be a, like a retro color that I'm just going to be into. I'm not going to just get every Jordan 1 or Jordan 5 or Jordan 6. Or two. Jordan 4 or 3, like there's gotta be colors, like OG colors that we need to stand out for me to grab. And obviously the OG colors gotta be cool. So right here we have the Jordan 6's Gatorades. Um, they came out also in a all, like a green and orange pair, but I was able to get my hands on these. The green one was, very, was more limited and it came out a couple weeks later and I didn't get paid at that time. But yeah, pretty simple. Um, you got orange on the toe. And you also got some spots around here. The bag is, it's kind of all this like, this um, soft leather. Very good material in my opinion. You got the Gatorade lace lock. And you also got the Jordan, Jordan logo in green. And you got this like orange pat around it. And then you got the um, pull tab back here with the orange line back there. And then if I could be, um, logo on the back of the tongue. These are size 11. Warm a couple times, um, but they kind of I think were this color when I first got them. They weren't any clearer than this. It just comes in that kind of yellowish form. A very dope sneaker. Um, so same thing with the Bordeaux Twelves. Fell out of love with them. Haven't got a chance to wear them. Uh, warm a couple times, but now yeah, I I don't know if I'm ever gonna wear them again. So I might sell them, but for now. Um, but you know, at the time, you know, I love these sneakers. I still do. It's kind of a, it's kind of a cool backstory. You know, the Gatorade commercial, obviously, with Michael Jordan. But yeah, very dope sneaker. I'm so pissed at my volume. So my that TV is louder than me. All right, up next we have the LeBron Soldier 10 Olympic colorway. They came out, so they all, so they, I think it was KD, Kyrie, I think those were the three, and maybe Kobe came out with an Olympic shoe for each of them when they all played on the Olympic teams together. And LeBron wasn't on the team at the at the time. I think it was 2013. He's came back out. He's came out. But these are his own um, colorway. So if you would have played, you got the clear bottoms worn. Obviously, you got this would have been his number in the All Star game, which was six. Obviously, you got the gold Nike swoosh there. You got the gold speckles, the gold crown right there. You got this like kind of like kind of it's like a soft leather on the toe. Um, gold speckle if you can tell in the mids on the bottoms right there so very dope sneaker warm a bunch in high school I just love wearing them breaking them out especially all-star week they kind of give you not only the olympic but all-star vibes stand out so they're, they're very dope um yeah pretty much sums that up Alrighty, up next we have, if you can tell by the box, we have, 
Nope, don't fall. Do not fall. Do not fall, fam. We have the Kyrie 4 Black History Months. Very dope sneaker. Very dope. I love these. These are my favorite out of the Kyrie 4s. Uh, out of the, all the colorways. Pretty simple. You got the green, black, and red stripes. And then you also got the white zigzag line on the bottom. You got the equality written all over the sneaker. Um, very simple. You got the gold Kyrie logo right there. You got the Illuminati on the back. Very simple, very basic, very dope. You want to pop, you want to pop out. This is also a good sneaker because it just has words written all over it and the bright white just really does justice. Worn a couple times, can't really tell though because the bottoms look just like fairly new. Um, the only way you could really probably tell is the creasing, but some Nike shoes come creased. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. Sums up, up for that one. Very dope sneaker. Um, Probably the, my favorite out of the whole, out of all the Kyrie 4 colors. Alrighty. Up next, this is going to be a very, it's going to be a very shock to you guys. But at the moment, I didn't have a lot of money and I was thinking, you know, I guess it wasn't, I don't want to say it was a challenge, but I want to see what I could find for cheap. Basically, I wanted to see how fast I could blow my money, and I did, but I wanted to see what I could get for a cheap price in StockX, and I found something cool. Um, so, these are the Nike Air Trainer 1, um, Puerto Rico's. Uh, my family is, uh, my mom's side of the family lives down in Puerto Rico, and I got these shortly, I think it was after the hurricane happened. I bought these, um, Hurricane Maria, I think it was, and I decided I looked into like into shoes, Puerto Rico shoes, to not even just cheap shoes, but Puerto Rico shoes. And there wasn't a ton, but these were one of them. Um, probably the main one that kind of stood out. They're okay comfortability wise. They're pretty uh, kind of like a cheap material sneaker, but you got the um, gecko or not gecko, uh, coqui, coqui as they call it. That is their um, that is their uh, symbol for Puerto Rico, the coqui, and then you also got on the back of both the sneakers the Puerto Rico flag um, representing Puerto Rico. Very dope sneaker. Um, you got this kind of like really rough um, leather. It kind of feels cheap, um, and you got these like kind of like these uh, stitched in parts of the red and the blue bottoms here. They were obviously white, but they were worn. Worn a, a good amount. Try to put some use into them, but I haven't worn them in going on probably like a solid year or two. Um, but very dope sneaker. Love them. Um, so, yeah, shout out Puerto Rico. They're doing good. They're actually doing a lot better. My family's doing all right. Um, they just got a lot of things redone. So, yeah, shout out to them. Shout out to my family and shout out to Puerto Rico. These shoes basically are dedicated to you guys. Okay, up next we have another Jordan box. Bang, bang. I'm so sorry, Farmer Simpson. That is the second time I stole your line. I apologize. But let's get right into it. Jordan box, of course. We have right here in my hands, ladies and gentlemen, we have the Air Jordan 7 Pantones. Pantones, you can call them the UNCs, you can call it whatever you want. But these things are arguably one of the most beautiful sneakers. Like, they're simple, baby blue throughout, UNC blue, 23 on the back. Um, all blue, you got the metal lace tips. Um, very simple. They are creased a little bit. If you can't see, got creased solely on the right one. You can see that a lot better than the left one. But yeah, I kind of stopped after once I saw that crease. I was kind of just like hesitant to wear them. These are arguably probably the most comfortable out of the uh, out of the, like the 29 Jordans that he's ever come out with. This is probably one of the, if not the most comfortable one. Very, it, it's very cushioning. It keeps your 
the back of your foot nice and cushioned. The tongue really hugs your foot. Pretty simple, pretty basic, but I love them. And haven't worn them in a long time. Probably like three years now, but yeah. Next is the LeBron 14. And these right here are pretty simple. I don't think I get too much into them, but these are in the red wine colorway or Cavs colorway. So this is when he was with Cleveland. Um, I saw these at the outlets at the time. It was before Black Friday came about. So these were on retail for like, I think like 175 or something or 170. Wasn't feeling them at the moment. I was like, I'll wait. I'll give it a little bit of time. Come Black Friday, they were on sale for like 50, 60 bucks. And I was like, I'm not passing this deal up. I'm going to get them. Um, wore them a couple times. The bottoms, you can't really tell that I wore them at all. Um, these went perfectly with my Cavs jersey, but he's not on the Cavs anymore. He's on the Lakers, if you didn't know. Um, but yeah, you got the crimson with the gold outline of the Nike swoosh there. You have the same thing on the strap right here. And then on the back, you just have on the back of it, you got just a kid from Akron. I don't know if you can really see it, but that's what that is. And then you got on the bottom of that of the left shoe, it says LJ. And then on the right, it says 23 for his number. Pretty simple. You can get these for like probably 80 bucks. Very good basketball sneaker. Locks you down. Um, very good sneaker, but... I, n I haven't worn them ever since I bought them, so. So, that's pretty much it for that. Heading in to this pair. This is m probably my favorite out of the 16. This is LeBron 16. Obviously, I kind of spoiled it, but whatever. LeBron 16, what the LeBrons, very dope sneaker, my favorite out of the 16s, obviously, um, worn once, uh, very dope, you got this like multi-pattern kind of colorway on the bottom here, then you also got the clear at the toe, then you got the clear at the toe on the right shoe, the black right here, then this hint of like glow, and then this like rainbow kind of ish color right here. And then the differences on each of the shoes on the top, you have on the right shoe, you have this all gray upper, kind of like the Ashes LeBron 15, but then sort of in the light, you can see the glow rainbow effect, reflective on there. Very dope, in my opinion. Then you also have the red and black laces. You got the cheetah print, sort of right here on the tongue that was on the, uh, I forget which one, uh, Watch the Throne, I think they were called Watch the Throne 16s. They were on these two, very dope. Suede bag, the lion, yellow eyes, kind of a rainbowy uh, Nike swoosh, very dope. And then you got this rainbow effect, this blue and red effect here, and then Simple midsole, and then you got the black speckles here. Very dope. On the left shoe, you got the multicolored, multicolored knitting. Um, and then you got the blue and black laces with the suede tongue. So this actually might have been on Watch the Throne. These, I think, were on the court purple ones, I think. Court purple LeBron 16s were very limited, but this was on it. And I think this was a part of the Watch the Throne 16s. You got the leather back this time. And it doesn't have a line or anything. It just has the crown with 16 on the bottom of it. And then you also got this simple black, like matte black kind of uh, colorway. And I just realized there is a chip on the Nike. That kind of bums me out. Oh, wait. Hold up. It's not a chip. I don't know, but it bothers me a little bit now. But gold hit right there, gold on the midsole for I'm King LeBron 16s. And then, yeah, pretty much it for these. My favorite out of the 16s. Very dope. Um, these will, you'll definitely stand out on these as well. Up next, 
If you don't know already, this is probably the shoe I wear most casually now because I usually have no time. Um, so this is kind of shoe I slip on if I just want to stand out, but nothing too crazy. These are the Under Armour. <laughs> Bless you, sorry. Um, the Hover Phantom in the red colorway. Uh, we have these at my job, not these specific, the color, but we do have them in blue, black, and white. Very dope, very comfortable, in my opinion. Very good shoe to slip on, especially on your day off. You don't want to wear your beat sneakers. You want to wear something that's comfy, but also kind of pops. And these definitely pop, and especially in the light. These red, this red is like a bright red. So if the light doesn't do justice now, when you're out in natural light, this this is popping. You can wear all black or whatever color you want. And so you wear the most darkest neutral color and you put these on your feet, these will pop out of the entire outfit. This will make your whole outfit glow. So very dope, very comfortable. I recommend checking this out. And shout out to the beautiful Under Armour rep who gave me a discount off of these. Up next is probably, you would think, my most in highly anticipated sneaker. But quite honestly, it, it's pretty basic, pretty simple. But if you don't know by the box, you can't, if you can't tell already, it's kind of, you can already tell what it kind of sort of is. Reverse the box. But you have, we have the the off-white Nike Zoomfly SPs in the pink colorway. Pink is arguably my favorite color because of breast cancer awareness and just pink looks good in my opinion. I don't even really care what you, you guys have to say but pink just really is beautiful um, and it really stands out. So it's pretty simple, pretty hot pink all throughout the shoe and then you got the clear so like well, legit it's clear so like when you stick your foot in you can legit see my fingers like you can see the color and everything so simple off-white you know made in oregon um pretty simple i had to go half a size up so if you're looking into this is gonna be the cheapest it's probably the cheapest off-white you can buy uh, and these go for around 250 262 but this is gonna be the cheapest off-white you're gonna be able to get out of the all of them. So quite honestly, if you get these, I would go half a size up your normal size because this is 11 and a half and my toe is actually very close, but it fits perfectly. So I love them, warm once, but I gotta clean them because that one time uh, I didn't realize how actually dirty they got, but yeah, definitely gonna have to clean these up, but these are very dope, especially if this is your first off-white. You know, can't go wrong with it. Alright, now we're going to head back to the old classic days. We have the Nike KD7 Black History Months very simple these were a lot grayer than how this yellowish disgusting bottom was but these very dope um they're beat now if you can't tell already um they're very worn very worn but very dope when they're brand new god they just look so beautiful even now i can wear them they still look pretty good but they're pretty much a beater shoe. Don't wear these anymore. I might donate them or, I don't know, give them away or something. But these are very dope. These are probably arguably one of the best models out of KD shoes, in my opinion. Pretty simple. The strap was pretty cool. Um, pretty basic, too. And I just love it. Black and white. Can't go wrong with it. But, yeah, that's KD7 Black History Months. Can't tell already. Another KD box. And these were my favorite out of the sevens. Besides the what the KDs, obviously. But we have here the KD7 Global Games, the all red shoes. This is kind of what made me fall in love with all red. Um, besides, obviously, the red Octobers, but you know, can't 
they were not silver Yeezys, so you can't really go. But obviously, nobody can get that shoe unless you got bread on bread. But yeah, these are pretty, very damn near beautiful and something very close to the Red Octobers. Obviously, it's not completely all red. You got the hints of silver or chrome, but everywhere else is just all red. It's very dope. They are very worn. If you can't tell, it's worn right there. The lining's kind of starting to tear. The red's faded a lot. So I used the wrong clean scrub applies, or I think I might have cleaned too hard, scrubbed too hard, and I might have faded off the paint. But very dope. Um, can't go wrong with these. These definitely pop as well. So that's pretty much it for that. Um, up next, we have. Oh, I am so. Give me one second here. I'm crushing my Kyrie Five. My Dukes here. Doing this, I had to put this on because I just look bad. All right, almost done here. Almost done. Trying to go as fast as I can, but I also want to give you guys a nice detail and sign look. Up next is the Air Jordan 13 in the bread colorway. Very dope, very comfortable. This honestly is probably the most comfortable the sevens and 13s are kind of my top two for the most comfortable jordans obviously they were white they're yellow now pretty simple red suede on the midsole and then you got this like uh very rough rough uh leather on the toe cap and then you got the three you got this nice knitting when you take pictures it is 3m so it reflects it's reflective and then you also got the eye right there with um, Jordan, his logo in 23. On that, pretty worn, warm a bunch. They're very comfortable, so that's why I wore them a lot. But very dope shoe. These aren't retailing for too much. I think they're going for just retail on StockX and GOAT, so it's not too much. So if you re really want a pair of 13s, you can find a pair online, but if you want this exact color, it's not going for too much off those off StockX or GOAT. Up next, Boost. You already know where we're going next. This. If you don't know already what's going to be in the Boost box, well then, uh, you're something else. But yeah, it's pretty simple. Adidas Ultra Boost Breast Cancer Awareness. My only Ultra Boost. But very beautiful. Pretty simple. You got the black midsole, the white bottoms. They were worn a bunch of Arguably, probably the most comfortable sneaker out of my entire collection. Um, but yeah, white bottoms, and you got the pink, pink flat, like kind of reflective uh, Ultra Boost logo. You got the breast cancer ribbon right there on the pull tab. You got the pink, pink lace uh, tips right there, and then you got the black cages, and then like kind of like LeBron 16, like that charcoal kind of uh, upper and throughout the throughout the majority of this shoe so very dope shoe my only ultra boost hope to get more but for now that's what it'll do uh, retail was 180 i paid like 10 dollars more so i think i bought them off goat at the time because they released and i think they sold out pretty fast so i decided to go a day early and get them before they did release so i know i had my pair and they weren't going for too much so i was like might as well get them. Um, so I did. And I will plan on getting more, especially the 19th. If you don't know already, 20% more boost than what's in those. So, crazy. But up next, getting right into it. The Jordan 14 Last Shots. These are still sitting, I honestly think so. I don't know too much, but I know they were sitting for the longest time I bought these when I was in Puerto Rico this past, this last year, this last summer I was over there and I got these. Um, sales tax is crazy. I think it is, I think it's like 16% sales tax. So these are 190. Can you imagine 16% sales tax on top of that? Ridiculous. 
but they're beautiful sneakers. Um, very comfortable too. 14, 13, sevens. You can't go wrong. Those are my top few. Um, this was suede, but I think it's kind. Of, I think it's basically ruined. I wore them on the pouring rain one time. Mistake, but there are. It was pretty well worth it. Beautiful. You got the Ferrari Jordan 14 Jordan logo right there. Um, and you also got the 23. These are inspired by his Ferraris. Like his, it's inspired by the Ferrari car, not the car obviously. Um, but if there's one pair of 14s I want, it is the Ferrari 14, which are just all red, very fire. But that's the one, that's my goal. That's the shoe I really want. All right, uh, oh, wow. Up next is a shoe that came out recently that I have not worn, but I did buy. And it is the Nike Air Max 2 Atmoses. Very dope, very basic, very simple, but very poppin'. It has, so it is a collab with a, uh, I think it is a Japanese store, Japanese Japan. Um, uh, store um, that actually this is a collab with them and they sold out pretty fast but if you really want a pair I think Bodega still has them for retail in majority sizes um, and it's not retail reselling for much more either but they got all different patches of the Nike Air so you got Nike Air there you got the Nike Air there it's just all different versions of it very dope each shoe is different which I love about it but very dope. Love them. Haven't worn them yet. I'm kind of concerned though. I know a lot of people are, but I'm also concerned too that this clear, it's like kind of clear around the entire shoe. You can see those clear patches. I'm worried that's going to yellow at some point, which then that will look really terrible in the shoe, but never know. So, but I hope to get a chance to wear them. And then it's got this also, I didn't, I forgot to mention, it's got this like sock kind of uh, lining. It feels nice. But I wonder if it's gonna be too hot to wear when it comes to like when you're wearing them. So when you put it on, especially on a hot summer day, and summer around here gets pretty hot. I mean, obviously it's not like Texas or something, but there's some really hot days out here, and it's pretty crazy. So I don't know how that's gonna hold up. That'll probably make my foot sweat more. But very dope sneaker. Can't go wrong with it. And I got them off of sneakers app. So paid only retail, which was 160. Three sneakers left. Three sneakers. I'm going into an hour. I'm sorry. But some of this will be cut, so you don't gotta worry about all this bullshit process I'm doing. Alright, up next, another Kyrie box. Wow. I'm very much into basketball sneakers, if you haven't seen already and throughout my collection. It is basically all basketball sneakers. But hey, everybody has a different passion. Some people like collecting Jordan 1s. Some people like collecting Jordans. I like collecting basketball player sneakers. Not only former, but current. And sometimes I get casual sneakers. But up next is the Kyrie 5 All-Star Joints. And if you don't know already what these are called, these are basically called the Rockets. And it is different compared to all of the other Kyrie fives. These are so compelled, like so different. Like usually you're so used to the big Nike swoosh. Now they shifted it into like a medium, like a smaller size. But then you got the big Nike swoosh right here. It's like kind of reversed. Um, but then you also got the you got the neon green midsole, and then you got also on the bottom, you got this nice like. Uh, like this nice like uh, leather sort of kind of material here the clear wing green laces blue on the blue on the tongue um, very dope sneaker I was able they were sitting and they're still sitting online I think most places but I was able to get these at Foot Locker they had one size 11 left at the moment it was like probably damn near two or three months after they, they came out so I was able to get them um, and the dead stock so brand spanking new Love them. Can't wait to break them out. Very beautiful sneaker. Alrighty. 
if you haven't seen already, but it's already in the video, I mean, in the channel, I did a video on these. I'm about to just do a quick, a little overview again of them. And it's part of my collection, so might as well, right? We have the Air Jordan 11 Blue, 11 Low Blue Snake Skins. Very simple. Blue bottoms. You got this beautiful blue snake skin pattern um and then like kind of like this all like this all white uh soft leather material very dope uh white midsole then you got the carbon fiber right here right there so it's very dope haven't worn them yet just got them a couple probably about a week or so ago but very dope can't wait to put these on feet um my first pair of 11 even though it's not an actual like 11 but it's a pretty dope shoe for my first 11, and they're sitting mostly everywhere, so if you guys like them, go get them. So I'm telling you, they're a very beautiful sneaker. Very underrated sneaker, in my opinion. And that's it. That's it. That was, the box was actually for the I Am King LeBrons. I just decided to. I just decided now. I just realized that. So I looked at the box, it was empty. So I already showed you guys that too. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I have more sneakers, but they're worn, they're beat up. I'm not gonna show them too much. I'm not gonna show them at all actually, um, cause it's not even worth putting in here. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, sorry if it took so long. Try to go as fast as I can, but I wanna give you guys a good detail. Detail look of each sneaker. Um, there's more to come obviously for the channel, um, for myself, for Kevin, for Roman, who hasn't, you haven't seen him yet, but he will be coming. Um, he will soon be doing his own. Uh, he'll be coming up with his own videos and you'll see him pretty soon. But yeah, this is just a start. I think this is right now. I'm at like a solid, like, I think like 40, 40 some pairs of sneakers. It's small, but it's growing. And I can't wait to bring you guys along for the future. I have another sneaker that I recently just got, but I'm I'm gonna save that for another video. But it is part of it is part of my collection, so but I'm not gonna show it to you guys today. That's gonna be for another day in the video in the studio actually. But just stay tuned for that. Um, and then also, I don't, if you guys don't already know, me Kevin we're both excited for the Bread Fours. A video about that is coming soon, so stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, Hope you guys liked the video. Hope you enjoyed it. I got a bunch of sneakers I got to clean up now. But make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, um, follow me on Instagram at the sneaker loot. The underscore sneaker underscore loot. Um, I keep you up to date with the sneaker releases, leaks, sometimes steals and deals. Um, I'm growing, so I'm at a very small following. Um, but eventually i will get there and pretty soon i think i'm about to do a giveaway so i'd stay i would give it a follow in and see what uh see what you guys if you guys want to give away i might do it i might not depends um but yeah that's pretty much it hope you guys enjoyed and um, peace